So you go out and then come in. Hey, what's up? Good morning. Come on in. This is Sam behind the camera. Sam's done all of our videos for the last several years. So I get asked a lot about what my pre-workout routine is. It's early in the morning. We film early in the morning a lot of times. So come on in to the house. So I have, I have done quite a bit of online coaching already this morning. I get up about 4.30, 4.45 in the morning. My family's still sleeping. I, you probably can't hear. There are sound makers going on, the white noise upstairs. Okay. The kiddos are still sleeping. My wife is now up. So I've come in and done online coaching already this morning. I come in, I make coffee, throw on, it's fall, so I throw on the hoodie and the sweats, do my basic um, online coaching and urgent work, but not the super important stuff. And then once I get out of that, I start to transition into pre-workout routine. And so what is my pre-workout routine? I'm gonna show you this morning. You've probably heard that I'm a coffee snob. I'm not the biggest coffee snob in the world. I mean, listen, coffee's coffee, it's great, but I want high-end coffee. And so I invested a couple years ago in a really nice ECM, really semi-commercial, semi-home machine. This is a German machine for espresso. Shout out to my good buddy and client, Wade, who told me to get this. So I'm gonna make espresso, an Americano. I also make one for Sam. He always wants one when he comes in. And so let's do that this morning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the timer or set the scale. We're gonna tear it out. We're gonna get about 20 grams. And this is my favorite Reformation coffee. So good, even a Catholic would like it. That's what I always say. We're gonna hit this, we're at 21.2, so we're just a little tiny bit over, so we're gonna knock out just about a gram. That's gonna be just about perfect, and it is. Pop this off, tamp it down. Nice spin, nice and smooth. Put this in. Smells good, man. Oh, dude, it's, this is an Ethiopian blend. I'm gonna tear out the cup so I did about 20 grams of coffee, so I want a little over 40 grams of espresso. So I'm gonna kick this on. I'm gonna turn on the timer. I'm gonna run it about 24 seconds. You can see nine bar is exactly what you want between the eight and the 10. And you can see that beautiful espresso coming out of there. Another 10 seconds. Cut it off here. We should be somewhere pretty close to 40 grams at that point. And we are, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna turn into an, an Americano, so I'm gonna kick the water on. Give me a little more volume. And kick it off. And we have a beautiful espresso. And I'm doing this because I want the caffeine. Now, if I've already had quite a few coffees in me or like just a lot of liquid on my belly, I might just go with a pure espresso, just so I get that quick hit of caffeine. And then I can go to my pre-workout like my pre -workout nutrition, which Sometimes if I'm gonna work out a little bit later in the morning, I might do eggs. Most of the time, if I'm gonna go early, I want fast digesting protein and carbs, not much fat. And so I'm gonna show you my favorite protein shake that I make in the morning for pre-workout. It gets the calories into my system pretty quick, makes me feel really good. And then I can have a regular meal after training. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so this is my favorite protein shake. I make this all the time. I made it for lots of my staff when they come in. I love these Fairlife protein drinks. I get these at Sam's. They have something similar at Costco. We've got that too. I think at Costco, it's the core power. It's 30 grams of protein. It's not a ton. I don't need a ton of protein pre-workout. I need protein post-workout. And so I need just enough. This is ultra filtered. It doesn't have lactose in it. It's not gonna tear my stomach up. I've picked a pre-workout shake that sits easy on my stomach, doesn't tear me up, doesn't make me bloated, doesn't make me gassy, which is a problem. And so what, what I'm gonna do is I've got this, this Ninja Blender and I'm gonna put three ice cubes in it. Typically I wouldn't put them in the bowl, but you know, for the power of television, that's what we're gonna do. So three ice cubes, I'm gonna pour the protein shake, protein milk in. I'm gonna put one banana in, by the way, let me show you this. So bananas are pretty ripe, so I have ripe bananas and green bananas that we eat. I want ripe bananas because I want the sugar in it. You don't open a banana from this side. Did you know that, Sam? You open it from this side. You just pinch and pull, and it's so much easier to open your banana. And so we put that in, pull it on down, put that in. 
I'm going to put one tablespoon of well, PB2 or a PB2 knockoff. I think, again, this is probably from Costco. So and this is just a dehydrated peanut, peanut powder. I'm going to put one teaspoon of pure creatine monohydrate in, like so. And then, again, only for pre-workout because I want the carbs, some fast-acting carbs. This is fresh local honey. This is actually from Hambrick's Daughter. They've got many millions of bees. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of honey in there, which is not that much, about a tablespoon of honey. There's my kiddo's alarm going off. And then I'm going to take this extra honey because we don't want to lose it. And I'm going to eat it. All right, once that's all in, put this in, blend it up. done. Grab a cup. And this should make almost exactly one of these cups. Just about perfect. And you get a nice peanut butter, vanilla, banana protein shake. And that's it. You see, I'm not messing around. I'm not trying to enjoy the thing. It's pretty good, but I'm not trying to enjoy it. I'm try not trying to nurse it. That's my workout shake. Now, here's the thing. I like taking showers before training. Wash my hair and my beard. I'm old, 43 years old. I beat up my body. I like the hot water to get me warm. I've got a hot tub out here. Sometimes I do the hot tub when it's cold outside. A lot of times I go in, I just had a nice, nice shower, nice hot shower, end on cold so that I'm not sweating like crazy pre-workout. And then I'm going to lay out my clothes for the workout because one of the things I want to do is I want to transition from work time. Remember, I've been working since 4.30. It's now a little after 7. And I want to transition. I don't work in my workout clothes. I don't work out in my work clothes. And so I'm going to change my clothes. I like being clean. It's early in the morning. I don't want to have a greasy face. I want to like go in feeling clean and ready to go for the workout. So we're going to do that now and get ready to train. I do this really every workout, depending on what I'm going to do today. This is kind of my typical workout clothes. I've got my uh, Nanos. I'm sort of crazy about socks. I want really good high quality socks. So these are Under Armour kind of thick socks. I'm gonna do some deadlifting today. I'm gonna pull my shoes off. Um, I like an Under Armour, just a kind of a compression, just a, a thin compression short. Uh, these are my Oliver's apparel uh, workout shorts. These work great. And then of course my fresh clean tees. I don't work in stuff like this. This is not what I work in. I can, I'm, certainly, I will wear fresh clean tees, maybe with a khaki shorts or something, but this is really my workout uh, attire for today. So as I switch out of warm, it's been, you know, it's cold outside, hoodie, sweats, coffee, etc. I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to get ready, and it's going to help put me in the right mindset to train. All right, so got up early, did my online coaching, had my caffeine, had my espresso, had my protein shake, which was fantastic. Had my shower. Thank you for joining me with that. It was a lot of fun for both of us. And now I'm in my workout gear. I'm ready to train. And so that's my pre-workout routine. The next video, we're actually going to show you what the workout looks like. We'll see you next time.